Good morning, friends. Today, we'll build up on uh, what we did in the previous class. In the previous class, you designed a ISHB 400 section at uh, 82.2 kg per meter run. Okay. So today we will uh, we will build on this. We will get a base plate for this section. In fact, in the previous class, we were discussing the theory behind the uh, base plate design, uh, essentially. Now, coming to uh, coming to our uh, yes, coming to the base plate, uh, we we had uh, only one formula. If you uh, if you just turn with me to the uh, uh, turn with me in the code to section 7 clause 7.4.3.1 clause 7.4.3.1 you will find that uh, there is a there is a uh, formula which has been given for the design of the thickness of the base plate okay design of the thickness of the base plate. Now, where do these uh, base plates typically rest? Where do the base plates typically rest? Sorry? Yeah, it, it is under the column, but on what does it rest? Columns rest on footing or which is a pedestal, uh, which is a concrete pedestal. So now, two things are there the thickness of the base plate is decided so that the column will not punch through column will not punch through the base plate that is obvious you have a thin metal sheet you put a, another metal you are going to punch through it so this formula which you have ensures that you don't punch through this section second part is the column the concrete should not fail what is the nature of load on the uh, concrete probably you may not have heard of this term it is concrete under bearing okay it's not what we call as compression where we go for the fck value you have hey are you okay better take a notebook here in a design class you suppose you don't try to work out a problem if you don't do the homework it is not going to make sense absolutely i can write and give that a design paper, unless you take an initiative to open the code book, try to interpret clauses, it's not going to make sense. Okay. See, uh, the number of uh, ifs which you see in a code book are quite a lot. If this condition is satisfied, if that condition is satisfied. In fact, the thickness formula which you have here is a huge number, blah, blah, blah. Then, after that, they put another thing, greater than TF. Do you see it? Look at 7.4.3.1. You got a formula. Then you have a, another condition which comes greater than TF. It means although you do the calculations right, your design of the section is still inadequate. So you will see that in this uh, problem. So we are taking uh, FCU uh, of the concrete as 40 Newton per meter square, what you get in the working stress. And then you got the FI as 250 Newton per uh, millimeter square which was the same as what we did in the previous class. I also told you why I chose 250 over any of the other grades of steel. Okay. So, then uh, you got the gamma M here as 1.1. Now, the thickness of flange, Okay, probably I will make it uh, here also the thickness of flange of this section the thickness of flange of this section is 12.7 mm. So, maybe we will uh, open our uh, IS 808. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I just opened the IS 808. If you have IS 808, I will uh, ask you also to just open that so that we understand what we are looking at. So, when you open the code you get uh, TF as uh, yeah this is ISHB 400 so 
thickness of the flange is capital T okay according to the 808 and actually that was the reason why I gave it as capital T over here. Now look at uh, the value of T, T is here, T is 12.7 again please remember we are taking the 82.2 kg per meter run section ok. So Tf is 12.7 millimeters, Tf is 12.7 millimeters then if you look at IS456 you will find that the bearing strength of uh, concrete is 0 0.4 into FCU ok, 0 0.4 into FCU that is a, a codal value. So if you are using 40 Newton per millimeter square it is going to come to 16 that is the bearing strength is 16 Newton per millimeter square the bearing strength is 16 Newton per millimeter square. So whatever is the load which is going to come due to bearing if that value is lesser than 16.7 then your uh, concrete is not going to fail in bearing. Typically what happens is when you uh, exceed the bearing strength the concrete will start to crumble. It will start to become like a powder and then it will uh, increase your deformation and all that. Essentially we call it as a it, uh, that it has failed. Now the problem calls for a load of 1800 kN to be taken up by the section. In all fairness, in all fairness I should have given the length of the column ok and uh, suppose it was say 5 meters then for this 82.8 into 5 should have been added to 1800. Of course that would have been in kilogram you have to convert it to kN for consistent units but I am not doing that, I am just taking the load which is coming on the section and doing it. I am not looking at the smaller loads ok. So uh, this is around 1.8 tons. So the area required works out to 1800 uh, into 10 power 3 this is to convert to Newtons divided by 16. So we require so many millimeter square ok. So I will also re request you to cross check this value which I have. Now look at the formula thickness of the base plate should be equal to some blah blah into A and B. There is a A square value and a B square value. Look at the code please. Now A and B are the projections of the uh, plate beyond the uh, face of the column. That means the there is a uh, for instance there is a base plate the base plate is going to be let us take another color like say ok orange. Now base plate is going to be having a projection beyond the face of the element. So for instance this is not looking too straight but uh, I still hope you uh, get it. So this distance overhang beyond the I is considered to be 25 mm. I am just assuming this value as 25 mm ok. Same thing applies here also ok. Same thing applies here also. If you look at the I section properties IS uh, HB 450 uh, 400 it is 400 by 250. So this value of 400 and 250 what I have marked here is taken directly from the uh, from the sections property. It is a section property that is 400 by 250. So if I am extending by uh, 25 mm on both sides 250 becomes 300 mm, 400 becomes 450 mm. See when you take a base plate if you make it project uh, a lot ok if the projection is going to increase what is going to happen? What is the what is the problem? For example, I am just having a very magnified image of the uh, flange. Now this is the this is the flange of the column ok and now I am going to take uh, the base plate itself. Now the base plate is having a overhang of this much here and probably in the second case you have the base plate overhanging to this much same thickness everything is same 
but the ba the uh, thickness the projection is larger what happens now when you keep a very large projection you will find that because of the axial load which is coming uh, downward there's an axial load which comes downward it causes a udl okay now although the uh, udl might be lesser in the second case because it's broader what is happening is the cantilever increases the cantilever increases when this cantilever increases you will find that the bending stress will also take into uh, will also come into the picture and cause a lot of trouble okay so typically in this particular case it is only under compression so if i have the base plate resting on the concrete it is enough but for uh, all practical purposes you will also provide a couple of bolts here okay now what is the force on the bolt what is the force on the bolt nothing actually from the from the problem statistics there cannot be a force it is resting on concrete there is a bolt hole there is a gap between the bolt hole and the uh, plate you put a bolt and you are pressing where is the connection essentially if there is any accidental uh, forces then that is what the, uh, that is what is going to be taken by the bolt but in any case when you do the design you will have to give a size of washer and then the bolt and the embedment length of the bolt so these are standard features so if you are not able to visualize how this bolt will look like please go to the uh, flag post or any of the lamp posts also which are there i mean like in that area i have seen it particularly you will see that there is a screw coming out from the concrete on that you tighten the uh, bolts okay so that uh, that is how this this column is going to look in a practical sense okay i just hope that whatever is the thing which i have spoken about is clear to you this a uh, base plate <coughs> if it's for a column carrying moment is going to become very tough in terms of design okay so what what would happen is you will essentially if it's going to carry a moment and uh, this is the same i beam the i beam might be much smaller moment would be in this direction causing all the bolts in this plane to be in tension all these bolts will start to become, uh, come in tension now whenever you are having a series of bolt holes all the other things grass area net area comes into picture the whole plate in this area is also transferring a moment so is that moment going to be safe that is another question which you need to answer so uh, uh, but fortunately or unfortunately we are not dealing with it in this course but i want you to be aware that for a column with moment the start the entire uh, design is going to be more involving okay the design will be much more involving now we'll come back to our design so we are using a plate which is 450 by 300 mm thick we have taken a is equal to 25 and b is equal to 25 now it simply reduces to a problem of applying the uh, this one uh, checking so first i'm checking w which is nothing but the bearing pressure from, uh, on the concrete so you got a load of 1800 kilo newton we got a plate 450 by 300 mm wide so when i distribute the load it is giving a stress of 13.33 newton per millimeter square now where did i get this 16 from 0.4 into 40 okay so the strength of the concrete is 16 newton per millimeter square the strength of the concrete is 16 newton per millimeter square so our bearing stress is only uh, 13.33 okay so our bearing stress is only 13.33 meaning we are safe okay meaning we are safe in bearing so now we don't have to think about bearing now next step is we see about the plate thickness next step is looking at the uh, plate thickness now what happens you are having a formula here ts is equal to 2.5 into blah 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 so w you get from here a b you can again substitute the 25 mm which you got then 
you will find that the plate uh, value is the plate stress is 0 8.01 millimeter okay the thickness required is 8.01 millimeter so if you have that value the column is not going to punch through the element now look at your clause the clause says that this 12 points uh, 8.1 uh, if you provide say 10 thick plate theoretically it is okay but what does the code do the code puts a restriction that you have to ensure that the thickness of the plate is at least as much as the flange of the column flange thickness is 12.7 meaning I cannot provide 8.01 I have to compulsory provide 12.7 and 12.7 is not a size which you get in the market usually 8, uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 14 you won't get 16, 20 you don't get uh, this one 18, 20, 22, 25 you got 32 so that those are the sizes which you get so you need to choose the next higher size got it so this is a very simple uh, uh, problem the complication could be when you are going to have a, a much higher load maybe the load which is coming is greater in that case you are going to be running into trouble okay so any doubt in the design of the column base any doubt in the design of the column base yes or no it's a simple thing no because it is actually that simple now i'll just ask you to uh, try to solve in this class uh, we will keep it as a tutorial get to design a column for a load of uh, say ok actually what could be the load on the column any uh, yes 750 kilo newton great next just uh, point out to any one of your friends here huh? Yeah, please get up. Yeah, yeah, who's the other person? Yes. What is the length of the column? What is the what is the unsupported length of the column? Come on, sir, the number I'm asking you. I'm not asking you to this one. Huh? Ah, get a number. Three meters. Very good. That's a practical number. See if you're telling one, one and a half that's wrong you're not using a judgment three meters it's a very practical height for a column three meters okay you ask uh, tell me any one of your other friends point to any one of your other friends yes what is the end condition for the column what is the end condition which you are going to give for the column what is the end condition here you open your code book or borrow your code book now look at the corresponding table and give me a end condition which you want to give uh, can you just lend him the uh, thing you can just close it and give it he doesn't need to know which page it is in yeah let him find out the page here i am giving the code book please give me the end condition for the column 